sued against a body donation and tissue bank in Phoenix, Arizona. It was raided back in 2014 in a human body parts trafficking investigation. Brianna Whitney spoke to a man whose mom and grandmother were donated to that center. We warn you, some may find this story disturbing. This is a horror story. It's just unbelievable. It's, it, this story is unbelievable. For years, Troy Harp has been living a nightmare. This is my mother. This is when she was a baby. After donating his mother and grandmother to Biological Resource Center in 2012 and 2013, with the understanding their bodies would be used for scientific purposes. Cancer and, you know, leukemia and whatever else, you know, using sample cells. And sure. That's what I was told. But that's not what happened. In 2014, the FBI raided the Phoenix facility in hazmat suits as part of a multi-state investigation into the illegal trafficking and sale of human body parts. But for the first time, we're now able to see the testimony from one of the FBI agents who conducted the raid. And what he recounts is shocking. He said he found a cooler filled with male genitalia, a bucket of heads, arms and legs, infected heads, and one of the most disturbing findings called a morbid joke in the lawsuit, a small woman's head sewn onto a large male torso like Frankenstein and hung up on the wall. Who in the right mind? It's absolutely gross. The lawsuit also says the bodies were cut up with chainsaws and bandsaws, and pools of human blood and bodily fluids were found on the floor of the freezer with no identification tags on the bodies. Tools that are not appropriate for dismembering scientific bodies. Harp says his mother's ashes showed up by mail on his doorstep shortly after the raid, but he isn't even sure they're her ashes. He says his mom and grandma wanted to help medical research after their death, yet doesn't believe they ever made it out of the BRC building. You feel like you've got any closure? No. This is open and I don't think I ever will. Wow. Mm. BRC owner Stephen Gore was sentenced to one year of deferred jail time and four years probation after he pleaded guilty to illegal control of an enterprise. Harp says that's not enough and he wants to see more federal regulation of facilities like this. The lawsuit into the center is still ongoing.